blockbusters like The Dark Knight and his latest film, Our uh, Frankenstein, which I think is produced by Apple. <laughs> Starts in theaters tomorrow. Check this out. for the ladies, but it's even men jumping his feet. <laughs> Aaron, Lord, have mercy, Aaron. <laughs> oh, gosh. You have done... Well, first of all, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. It's, it's a pleasure. I... I yo, I, I, I could wait. Yeah. But... <laughs> what is that? What are you doing, man? Okay, so this is Muscle and Fitness Magazine, and you got muscles where I haven't seen muscles previously. <laughs> you know, because you got muscles of, like, you got pecs and you got muscles above the pecs. You got, like, your Adam's apple has a calf on it. <laughs> you know? What kind of workout are you doing, sir? <laughs> I never thought I'd be on the cover of mus Muscle and Fitness, I have to say. So, so you weren't... A muscle head as a kid? No, I mean, I lifted weights and played sports, but I mean, muscle and fitness was for people that were, you know, you know, just huge and um, it's, I can't even look at it. I went by an airport, I was in an airport the other day and I saw it and I had to look away. Yeah. <laughs> um, this unique approach to Frankenstein, totally different, no bolts? No bolts, no square head, and he's not green. Um, he's a lean, mean fighting machine. So we brought him up in the in the modern age and uh, made him kick butt. It's yeah. a real like action movie, you know, superhero Frankenstein. Yes, <laughs> yes. and we needed that. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think we did. I've well, seen little pieces. I mean, everybody has a history with Frankenstein, and it's it's about time that somebody came out with a new version of you know the monster of Frankenstein. Yeah, because the actual Frankenstein is the father, and he's the creation, and so now he's uh, out uh, and about uh, in the modern times, and he has to choose between the gargoyles and the demons, the good and the bad. So it's Frank, a whole new twist. Frank could actually get a woman this time around. Yeah. <laughs> Are, are you married? No, I'm not. And you've never been married? No. Oh, man. What about I'm not married, but I don't work out like you do, man. Have, if I worked out like that... Have you ever been married? No, I've never been married. Is that right? Yeah, you enjoying your life? What's wrong with you? Ah! <laughs> what's wrong with you? When you get to be our age, people say, what's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They trip. Uh, <laughs> what kind of woman would you like? What are you looking for? What have you been looking for? Well, I mean, I'm looking for the boom. Uh, the what? The boom. So, you got the boom? That's hilarious. Where are you? you got the boom. Let me see you. <laughs> Tiffany is crazy. I'm looking, I'm looking for the boom moment. You know, you walk and it goes boom. And yeah. There's, there's a sonic boom inside you and then you have to follow him around and say, I'm sorry, but I just had a, a movement. Yeah. <laughs> you fight a lot in movies. You do a lot of yeah. action stuff when you fight. Are, are you really a good fighter? Uh, no. I mean, I'm okay, but, you know, compared to a good fighter, you know, a guy that can walk in the room and look at the room and know that he can take anybody in there, those are my trainers. Those are the, those are the people that train me. So I get a little stunts. You do a lot of your own. Oh, yeah, I do all my stunts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't go through glass windows and, and that sort of thing, but all in this movie, I did all my fighting, I did all my stunts. Um, I know how to fight, I know how to throw a punch, but, uh, you know, when those guys lock on to you, they, you know, um, like my trainer shows me, he says, give me your hand. So I give my hand, and he, and he shows me how to break my hand 11 ways up this way and 11 ways down this way without coming off my body and not breaking a sweat. That guy knows how to fight. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, the backstage, everybody was looking for a broom. They were breaking brooms and looking for sticks. And now, Why did they put this stuff out here? What do you do? What is this about? Or, or are you just going to have... That's for Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, this ah! 
Yes, for Justin Bieber. I'm a big fan. Yeah, yeah. You like his music? Oh, yeah, yeah. Big yes. Fan. Yes, uh, that's a Cali stick. That's a Filipino Cali stick. It's Cali with a K? Uh, Cali? Yeah, yeah, Cal California. Oh, Cal oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a rattan stick. It's about, what, two and a half feet long, and you take these, and um, you you destroy somebody with them. So you get up there, and they have all these patterns that you go like this. Yeah, let, me, let me get out of the way. You show me something. So yeah. you go like this, you know. Yeah. Oh, like yeah, this. yeah. And then the other guy has sticks, and you defend yourself against him, and you run around and do all these kind of stuff. So it's very dangerous. Yeah. I was hit in the back of the head with these sticks. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Thought I broke my neck. They put me out cold. Um, so when we were making this movie, it was uh, extremely dangerous. You want to give it a try? Uh, oh, hell no. Yeah, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any, I don't have tech that on. I'll be quick, I'll just be like, yeah, man, I'm totally, I'm just, you know? I mean, yeah. You, you know, you don't really need, technique is not important if you just go great at it. Look at you. I, 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 yeah. This is, this is what's important right here. Right here, man. This point right there. You know, it's a good thing that you didn't audition for this movie because that's exactly what I did in the movie. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have, you know, <laughs> you know, take off your shirt. Sure, that's why you got the movie. I Frankenstein opens tomorrow. Check it out. Trip, buddy. Let's put some music on. Welcome to Learning Spanish in the Club. You gotta be kidding me. This is good. Vamanos. Oh, Vamanos. Gracias. Grace. Gracias. Gracias. Terence, ahora es en el carro sin parar y no traes música. Mira, entra y compran unas papitas. Get up to 795 miles per tank in the TDI clean diesel. The Volkswagen Passat, recipient of the JD Power Appeal Award two years in a row. How's it going with Roy? You're late. You saw it kind of angry. Let me try getting something that'll actually hit back. Too soon. Mm -hmm. Turn our skate to... My next guest... Yes, yes. My next guest was nominated for an Oscar for her very first movie role, Precious. Now, she's hanging around with cold-hearted witches in an American horror story coming on FX. Take a look. You! Yeah. Three legends. Tell them three. Jessica, Angela, and Kat. The gardener said you'd be here. You're alive? Bitch, you left me for dead. Oh, girl, I thought you were. Oh, get your ass over here. Uh, uh, that's what dismembered me. And that's for coming back. I thought I told you to put her white head in the trash. I have my own ideas. Please welcome Yabaree Sinebank. to say that name and to meet you. I was in New York doing Apprentice, right? And you all were down the street every day shooting <laughs> Tower with Eddie Ice. Murphy. Yeah. And I kept telling him, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come down there. But I was I was screaming and fighting with Penn Jillette and Aubrey O'Day. Well, I've been waiting to meet you since I was like six years old. Oh. I used to, like, it's really stupid. I used to beg my mom to let me stay up. I can only watch on Fridays yeah. um, because I didn't know it was cool. Like, really, in the auditorium at my school, mm -hmm. every time there was a, a play or whatever, everybody would be like, woo, woo, woo. We <laughs> never clapped. Yeah. We were dog pounding it. That's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you and have you here. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How was New Orleans? Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> a painful shoot? No, New Orleans is really fun. It's just really, really slow there. No, when uh, you say slow, what do you mean? I just, like, it's, like, super southern. Like, nobody's in a hurry for anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> have you ever been to the corner? Oh, my no. God. Oh, tell me about it. Okay, so here's, okay, 
Okay, so there was a bar that we would frequent, and every time we'd go when we were leaving, every single time, there was always like a gang of cops arresting trannies. Specifically, <laughs> trannies. Yeah. And I don't understand, I don't know what goes on with trannies, but that <laughs> tranny on tranny crime needs to stop. <laughs> it is tearing our nation apart. <laughs> uh, um, any brushes with, with voodoo or any elements of culture we might not know about? Yeah, there's definitely a, a, a voodoo culture there. And there's this one voodoo shop that I like to go to, yes. and it was run by this woman who is the voodoo queen of New Orleans, a white woman <laughs> from Detroit, which is interesting. I'm not saying that she's not the voodoo queen yeah, yeah. of New Orleans. I'm yeah. just saying that I didn't expect the voodoo queen to be a white woman. <laughs> from, from, from the D. Detroit. Yeah, from the D. Yeah. <laughs> um, I heard you went to see a psychic. I did. I did see a psychic. Okay, so this is really weird. We're like, I'm super in the psychics, yeah. and I don't even believe them. I just like to know what they're going to tell me. I just, I'm in it for the show. And so I saw this one woman, and she was talking about, she was like, so you're not in a relationship now. She's like reading tarot cards and stuff like that. And I go, no. And she goes, and she like flips one over. She's like, yep. Yeah. You ain't gonna find one here. And I was like, that's cool. And then she flips another one. She said, well, you might as well who you want then. And I was like, are you giving me the bang pass? <laughs> like, a psychic told me to be a slut. Like, how do I explain that to my gonorrhea doctor? He's already really mad at me. <laughs> I'm getting it. I don't have it. I'm getting it. I'm a virgin. I'm getting it. <laughs> a gonorrhea doctor. You're not a virgin either. You're you don't not, know my life, I Arsenio. just think you're not, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I love the snort. It, it's, it's like slapping really hard and then taking it back and letting it out again. <laughs> Oops. I'm really embarrassed by it. No, Jamie Lee Curtis does that. Does she? Yeah, she does. Yeah. I'm always excited to meet another snorter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and here's why I don't think you're a virgin. So, no, no. <laughs> oh, but I just thought of something. Because I was gonna move on. I was gonna move on. And then I remember one night I, I saw you talking to Chelsea and you all were talking about partying and oh. drinking. And, and sometimes <laughs> when you party and drink, uh, virginity goes out the window at some point. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I heard you say you could drink too. I can drink. You and I, I should can... party together. Yeah, we should. What you doing tonight? Uh... <laughs> They thought you drank, and I tried to make it, but, but what is your favorite drink? Because it sounds I crazy. Don't, I, don't sounds have, I don't have a favorite drink, really. Okay. I just like to put the liquor in the cup and give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, super, I, know. I know that sounds dangerous, but you don't know. Um, I don't discuss this a lot in public because people get jealous. Yeah. But I'm a superhero. <laughs> Um, let me explain. Yes. I, I can drink like as much. Yeah. yeah. I can drink as much as I want. I do get drunk, but I never get wasted. I can always find my way home. I never black out. And I never get hungover. Really? My superpower. I can what drink what whatever I want. Okay, and so I was out partying once, and all that was available was that I was at somebody's house. Um, and all that was available was Skinny Girl Margarita Mix and Scotch. Oh, and I oh, made oh. Is this it? That's what they told me, but I thought they were joking. Because <laughs> Skinny Girl Margarita, that's like the Bethany joint, right? Oh, yeah. The Skinny Girl thing. And then you put Scotch inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> that's different. Coming Wednesdays, 10 on FX, and make me a promise that you and I will party. You yes. sleeping on it? We go, me and you? You promise me. We're going to send y'all, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to send y'all pictures. <laughs>